Okay, today I'm examining the uh, Mueller generator coils on my little testing setup. And I wanted to take a look at perhaps the uh, coil shorting idea, where you short the coils, uh, generator coils, out at a certain point for a certain period of time in the cycle to see if there's a gain or not. And uh, I'm just running my little Mueller on a simple jewel thief circuit. That's all that is, is a, a couple of jewel thieves put together in parallel and then adjusted to the right frequency to get it to work right. And then this is the little uh, uh, shorting circuit that uh, it's been posted before in a little different variation. Uh, I made it real simple. Just basically a pickup coil sends a little signal to the transistor. Transistor shorts the coil out. Uh, the rest of the time, the coil is actually generating energy into a capacitor and building up energy in the capacitor. But when you short this thing out, you get a burst somehow. It goes higher into that capacitor. Very interesting phenomena. The uh, question, of course, is do you lose the energy um, when you're doing that? So, anyway, I have no, no feelings on it one way or another. I'm just examining it. I'm lid motor, and this is the 7th of June, 2011. And this is my generator coil shorting experiment. This is uh, the setup here. I now use uh, shot key diodes. Uh, I get much better response out of them. There's two generator coils in parallel, two drive coils, which are the two dual thief circuits right here. I'm going to show the uh, generator cap voltage on this capacitor right here as it builds up energy in the capacitor. And then the amp draw on the input from my one AA battery right there. Now this is a 1.6 volt, it's a special battery, high voltage job. And then uh, I'm going to let you listen to the sound of that transistor as it triggers the shorting on these generator coils. Okay, here we go. Somebody asked me if this runs without the rotor going, and it does. Uh, this is just a jewel thief. As you see these little LEDs lit up. That's jewel thief circuit. Just two of them in parallel. That's all that is. You see the motor's not even running. Of course, I got no power either. Nothing's going on there. There's my amp draw right there. This will probably be about 40 when I get it running here. Let me fire it up here. Okay, there's the uh, amp draw in the system right there. As this revs up, there's the voltage on the cap building up. See now that this up to speed, it's stabilized out. It's actually starting to drop a little bit. There's cap voltage. It has now exceeded the amount of voltage that's in that battery. So I have a voltage potential now higher than what I have at my source, which is what I've been looking for. Of course, that's not amperage. You know, that's voltage. So you got to have voltage and amperage to get your power, your your wattage. And I have an LED right here, a little white LED. Notice it's not lit up. I don't have enough voltage to do it with. And that's my load right there. That's the load on the generator coils right there. Now I'm going to connect the transistor shorting circuit out. You're going to be able to hear that on this radio. And it's also going to lug down. I have a little tuning coil for the trigger coil that I can tune this shorting cycle out. And you're going to hear this as I tune this. And I'm going to show what happens to the voltage on the charging capacitor and the amp draw. Okay, here we go. There goes the rotor winding down with Lin's Law taking effect. Now let me see what I can do here. Here comes the RPM back again. There's my voltage on the cap. There's my amp draw. And there's my little white LED lit up. So that timing on that and on that triggering, that shorting out of that generator coil, I'm going to say it has an effect. And even though you might lose RPM on your 
on your drive rotor you're gonna gain it I think with these numbers here you have to get that just right though this this really should be in a, a microsecond burst at a very specific point can you hear that or not I have that just about right I got the LED on that's the voltage on the um, capacitor that's actually being clamped by that LED let me pull the LED off and you'll see this go up higher Okay, there goes the voltage on up. I had this up to about 4 volts a little while ago. There's my amp draw. Now granted this is this is unloaded. This is just voltage on this capacitor. But remember I'm coming out of a double A battery. And this is what I've been trying to get. I've been trying to get enough of a voltage to be able to do anything with it. So anyway, that's that's my little demonstration for today. That's the uh the Mueller uh with the generator coil set up with an adjustable coil shorting circuit. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps everybody.